Hello everyone, I'm Kat and thank you for joining me here at Simply Pennies. The numbers are in and we have a lot of news to cover, so let's take a walk around the penny. Let's start the show with today's big winner, Luke Entertainment, symbol LKEN. This stock moved up over 41% on roughly 79 million shares. The company has officially changed its name to Green Concepts, and last Friday it announced that AccuBright executives were discussing distribution of their ink cartridge refill systems with a multinational corporation. The program is called Free Ink for Life, and it includes refilling tools, 24-7 customer service, and unlimited free ink refills. For our next winner, we have have simulated environment concepts, symbol SMEV. This is a manufacturer and developer of medical, health, and wellness equipment. They announced in a press release this morning that this has been the greatest January in the history of the company. The company states that although this is only the second week in January, they are on track for what may be the most profitable quarter they've seen to date. The stock rallied a little over 35% on a volume of roughly 41 million. That certainly makes them a winner in our book. Our final winner is an interesting one. Energy One Corporation, symbol EGOC, had a normal morning, then skyrocketed over 66% on 57 million shares. This spike came out of the blue since the company hasn't had any news since October. Back then, the Energy Research and Development Company released their new chairman interview, quarterly newsletter, and corporate update. Now it's time for today's lovable losers. Remember Global Technology, symbol GTLL, which rose 1,200% on more than a billion shares yesterday? Well, big surprise, it's down over 38% today on a volume of just over 386 million, which is still a decent volume, but compared to yesterday's, this stock is definitely a loser. Yesterday, this technology portfolio company announced a merger and acquisition agreement with VX Partners. Hopefully you got in and out while it was still good. Following the same path as our previous loser, Cotton and Western Mining, symbol CWRN, was another winner yesterday, but this afternoon it fell roughly 41% on 290 million shares. Remember what I told you all yesterday. But before you jump on this bandwagon, traders should take note that the OTC slapped the stop yeah. sign warning on this stock. Buyers beware. After this stock's steady rise all week, it was only a matter of time before this sick puppy had to be put down. And our final loser of the day is Green Star Energy, symbol GSRE, which dropped just over 23% on a volume of near 40 million. This energy company has interest in oil and gas development. They haven't had any news since September when they agreed to acquire ownership of an oil well in Wyoming. At that time, the company announced that it planned to target joint ventures and acquisitions where oil projects were already in or near production. And chat rooms were very excited about Triton Distribution System, symbol TTDZ. A press release this morning announced that Triton is in a position to have up to $4.2 million in debt and $4.1 million in other liabilities eliminated. Management anticipates an increase of about $8.3 million in total shareholders equity. The company also plans to upgrade to a higher exchange in the near future. The stock opened at a little over two cents and saw a high of .0429 and a low of .022. It shot up just over 127% on 35 million shares and closed the day at 0 .0409. Not too shabby. Chatters were also still talking about H&H &H Imports, symbol HNHI. This stock has been in the national spotlight quite a bit lately due to investment partner 50 Cent's ill-advised tweeting. A few days ago, his Twitter update tried to cover his potentially law-breaking gaffe by saying, HNHI is the right investment for me. It may or may not be right for you. Do your homework. Smooth move, Fiddy. As for the stock, it opened at a little over 24 cents and had a high of 27 cents and a low of 23 cents. It rose 8% throughout the day on over 1 million shares, and it closed at 27 cents per share. Our quote of the day comes courtesy of Kyle A., who said, I hate stocks. Well, Kyle, you're certainly in the right place then. Are you ready for some BS? Four newsletters pumped Medical Connections Holdings, symbol MCTH, but after opening at a little over 13 cents, the stock fell nearly 4% on a little over 1 million shares before closing at 0.125. This company provides medical recruitment and staffing services. A press release yesterday announced that its revenue growth for 2010 exceeded the estimates of industry analysts. 
Another smelly stock is Amber Resources symbol AMBE. They catapulted 249,900% on a volume of 15,000. This company is an absolute mystery. No news, no company description. It almost seems like it doesn't even really exist. But it's right there on the OTCBB. We definitely don't see rallies like this every day. And for a small volume and no news or company info, rewarding these guys with the BS Trophy of the Day. That's it for me today. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you right back here on Monday for more daily market recaps. Don't forget to interact with us on our homepage, simplypennies.com, as well as on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Kat. Bye. For a small volume and no news or company info, we're awarding these guys with the BS Trophy of the Day. And you know what they say about guys with small volume.